welcome to my bedroom. It's the same room from a slightly lower angle. Um, I used to have another box that I was setting up my little like tripod situation on, but Drew came back from tour and it was his box and he took it back and now I have to improvise again. So the advantage is now you're closer and you can kind of see what I'm gonna do but you also have to look up my nose a little bit. So it's gonna work out fine. The point of this is that you can see what I'm doing and you can see what I'm doing, so it's gonna be fine. Um, today I wanna use the BH Cosmetics Beautiful in Barcelona palette. I've had this for a little while and I, I feel like I've messed around with it, but I haven't really like consciously created any like looks with it, but it's it's really pretty. And I feel like it's a like has a lot of like fall colors. Um I don't have a plan. Surprise, surprise. Um but I just like am really feeling like I want to use this palette and I also want to there's so many palettes coming out and I want to buy them, but I know I have things that I don't use and like this is one of them. And like, not even that I don't use it because I don't like it, but like, I just need to pick this up. And so I want to like, use the things I have before I buy new things. And that's really hard for me. But I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. Um, but I'm excited to use this. This isn't like me being like, oh, I'm gonna force myself to use this palette. It's really pretty and I want to use it. I just also want to buy everything in Sephora. There's like two paths that I can see myself going down. Yeah, I jammed my fingernail in that color. Um, one path is this like really pretty terracotta kind of world and this other path is just fucking nailing myself in the eye with blue eyeshadow and I wanna do it so bad, but I feel like I might regret it tell me what to do. <laughs> I'm just gonna pick a color and begin. We're just gonna go for it. Okay. <laughs> this seems like a good place to start. Uh, Dulce. Ooh. Um, these are, I haven't played with these in a while and these are quite powdery. Like there's a lot of of that gonna be happening like it definitely like I don't think I've touched this color before and it's definitely like leaving a little mark so that's not necessarily something that I have a problem with I just I'm just noting that because I know that some people are bothered by that okay into the crease we go wow I it feels like I haven't played with makeup in a while this feels new again A neutral brown in the crease, you say? Groundbreaking. Old habits die hard, dude. I'm, this is my, I'm easing myself in, okay? Some of these colors intimidate me a little. I gotta start with what I know. Am I covering my entire face? This is hard for me. It's hard to not, it's hard for me to not put the mirror like directly up to my eye. I'm trying to be a good, a good YouTuber for you all. I'm really trying to earn my stripes and one of those stripes I guess is not completely obscuring my face every time that I do something. I think I can kind of see the beginnings of a loose game plan like in this area so let's give it a shot. Let us take Spain a little bit because I am scared. Uh, okay. I'm so impressed by people who, I think it's just a matter of experience, maybe just like go in with colors like this and they just jam them right in there. <laughs> so I don't know how it works out. Like I, 
I feel like I have to be so tender and so delicate because like it goes wrong for me so quickly. <laughs> but I'm just gonna keep going in with tiny amounts until it looks what I think I want it to look like. Very gingerly blend out the edges of that. Let's get a little more of that transition color. Hmm. Yeah, those aren't those aren't blending together as well as I would like, but it's not as bad as it could be. But they're not like like I think the last tutorial that I put up was using um or one of the last ones was using the Desi and Katie palette with Dose of Colors. And like something I love about that palette is all the colors like blend into each other and like almost create new shades really well. Um, so like that's kind of my standard for like how things blend. Like I'm not an expert, but like I notice when things blend together really well and these are okay, but like not as good as that one so far. Oh, um, as I'm filming this, like I, I already have I already have concealer and primer and sunscreen on. Um, I was actually on the phone with my mom, so I was like right before I filmed this, so I figured I would just like do those steps because it takes up time and you've seen it before. Yeah, this color, this Spain color, like the color is so pretty. I just feel like it's a little patchy. It's not a deal breaker like I think I can make it do what I want mm, see I went in too confidently on this eye I got I got cocky and now I have to fix it not bad I'm just definitely having to work for it like I'm I kind of want to try doing like that more angular eyeshadow shape I see I see people doing it and it looks nice I just I'm always a little unsure about how to do it but I want to use one of these blue shades like all over my lid. I think it could also be pretty with one of the bronze ones, but I just want to use a blue one. I think I'm going to do this one, Mediterranean. Please work. Oh, please work. I will take the dirtiest shader brush that I own. Um, I will try it dry. Let's see. Ooh. That's pretty. I like that color. I think it applies fine dry. I'll take what I think is supposed to be like a pencil brush Making the edges soft. Yeah, that Spain color is kind of hard to blend. I don't know. I don't know, guys. It's kind of hard. Same procedure on this side. I feel like this eye is like the colors are blending together way better than this other eye. I don't know what's happening over here. It's almost like the blue is working really well on top of the like purpley color and not necessarily the other way around. Like it's really easy for me to take the blue and blend it into the purple. But when I go back in with the purple, it looks not great. I think to kind of remedy that situation that I was talking about where the purple looks a little funky on top of the blue, I'm going to take this color Fiesta. It's kind of, it like, it's like a 
taupey, purpley, shimmery thing. And I'm gonna like cover up those areas that I want to be deeper, but that where the purple kind of wasn't doing the job I wanted to be done. And we'll see if that works. And I'm just throughout this whole endeavor trying to remain as calm as possible. Exactly what I thought was gonna happen happened where this entire thing got out of control really fast. I think what needs to happen now is inner corner highlight. And I think that since we used those like purpley colors, I think I wanna stick in that kind of color scheme and use this enchanting color. It's kind of this like shimmery, pinky, taupey, lilac-y kind of situation. Also something that I like to remind myself when like eyeshadow starts to kind of get away from me is mascara fixes just about everything. Like everything looks way less crazy. Let me clarify. I don't think this looks bad. There's just a lot going on. I will say for how much fallout this seemed to have like in the palette itself, um, I don't have like a crazy amount of eyeshadow flex all over my face. I feel like I might leave my lower lashes alone um, since there's so much happening up here. Maybe just a little of that like first transition color to kind of like anchor that somewhere, but I think the next step to making this look a little less crazy is adding some nude eyeliner. If you're not a wimp like me, um, you can use black or blue. I do have a blue one that would look cool, but I just, this is about as crazy as I wanna get. I feel like this look kinda warrants like some fake freckles or something. I'm gonna use the BH Brow Pencil in Blonde and the NYX Brow Pencil in Ash Brown, um, just to do some different looking fake freckles. I don't know, I'm like, something about this is making me notice my own freckles in a way that I like and um, I'm not being too careful about this and then I just pat over afterward. I know that fake freckles have been like really trendy so like I think you've probably seen a lot of people do them um, and do them a lot of different ways but I just use an eyebrow pencil and dot all over my face and I like using if I have them two different colors because like your freckles are all kind of they're not like perfect circles right they're like little almost like smudges that's really cute what that's really cute I'm liking this more and more I think that like I keep I keep looking at this and being like oh like that's not that's not that bad <laughs> like I kind of like that and I do I kind of like that. All right, because of all of this going on, I think I'm gonna keep my face pretty tame. I'm just gonna put some bronzer on. Haphazardly. I like seeing looks like this on Instagram that are a little more like editorial and undone. So like, I think if you wanted to, you could do this in like a super glam way and like add the winged liner and like add the crazy highlight, but I think it's kind of fun to have it be like really intense eyes and then like not a lot going on in the face. Like I feel like that's kind of like editorial and fun and like I personally really like the way that that looks. Um, but if that's not your cup of tea, like that's a pretty easy fix. Like I don't even really want to put highlight on like I kind of am just into I'm kind of just into like how my skin is looking even with uh, my large stress pimple okay watch anyone who has been doubting me up to this point we're gonna fix it this is gonna look way more like a, a thing like a purposeful intentional thought out plan with mascara.
Mascara is going to do that for us. I know you can't see, but for this part, I need to see. So, just, you know what I'm doing. I'm just really layering this on because I like, again, for more of an editorial kind of look, like I want pretty thick. I want pretty thick lashes. I want them to be like nice and like big and textured. Ooh, like I, I want to do this again on purpose because I feel like it might look even better. Okay, lips. Tried and true. Maybelline. Clay Crush. I'm just gonna like blend out the edges a little to make it like super unstructured. I love this color! This is really, I don't know if you can tell like on, on camera, but like this with that like crease color is like really, it's working. I think it looks good. Okay, I think I'm done. Um, that was really fun and went way better than I expected it to, so I'm very happy. Um, hmm. Uh, I'm trying to decide my feelings on this because I think the colors are really pretty. I think the colors that I had a little bit of trouble with were the mattes, which there's one, two, three, four, five, six. So the majority of this palette is shimmers. Um, and I think the shimmers blended together really well and I didn't have any problem. And I love all the colors. Like I think this color story is awesome. Um, so it's not, the, I wouldn't discourage you from getting it. Um, I just know that like this one in particular Spain like I was struggling there a little bit and like struggling to get it to um, Like it was hard for me to get it to blend into other colors without like being a completely like separate Like block of color if that makes sense um, it worked out in the end because I think that something that really saved it were like um these shimmers like specifically um mediterranean i think is really pretty i actually didn't try getting it wet today because i kind of like how it looks dry um but i'm sure it looks pretty wet as well i'm really curious to try this like peachy orange one exquisite um this one treasure looks amazing like i think all the shimmers are so pretty and i think that's what kind of saves the palette because i think the mattes are like there I like I don't know it like that one was kind of hard for me and something that really helps me is having a lot of smaller well I don't have a lot I need more but having a variety of like small blending brushes so that like you're not getting like big dark smears across your eye um and I think to working really slowly and doing like a transition color and then maybe a deeper color and then blending it out and kind of like layering from there I think that helps me a lot not get overwhelmed and scared when I like put too much of a dark color in my crease but yeah I think that's all for me I really like am stoked on how this turned out I'm a little bit on the fence about this I don't know that I can give it like a glowing recommendation um but it's cheap so like if it if $16 isn't gonna break the bank for you and you think you would use these colors and like if you don't have them somewhere else um then I think it's cool but I did uh the mats gave me a little bit of trouble but other than that, I'm happy with it. Okay, so thank you so much for watching. Um, I'm hopefully going to be filming some more videos soon. I know that I wanna do, um, I wanna do like some more obviously makeup videos cause those were really fun, but I also wanna do um, some more fashion kind of content as well. Um, so if that's something that you would watch or if there's something else that you're interested in that I haven't like touched on or explored yet, um, let me know because I would love to do it. This shirt makes me feel like a pirate.
I kind of look like Johnny Depp? Okay, thanks for watching. Bye! Bye! Okay, okay! I forget how I end videos, so... Bye! <laughs>